I'm trapped on a platform floating in the air! Okay, no I'm not, but hey everyone, welcome back to Super Mario Sunshine. My name is Xenobold and the controller stopped working for a second there. In this episode, we're going back into Pianta Village for more shines. Episode 3, The Gloopy Inferno. Oh boy, this one's a fun one. Wait, what is this? This is not a secret level. You don't get to just switch this up on me. Oh no! Oh no! It's the Gloopy Inferno! We don't have Flood! And yes, there's a lot of Fire Inferno crap. Oh boy, F joy to the world. This isn't... Whoa, crap. Interesting... Uh, thing? I don't know, you're supposed to go underneath the uh, shortcut, but that's no fun, so we're gonna take the shortcut. Wait, that didn't make any sense what I was trying to say, but whatever. So... Goal of this level is to get Flood back. Because, yeah, you're supposed to have Flood for all these, but apparently this level did not like it that much. Don't jump. So what we can do here is, as you can see, there's a bunch of gloopy stuff. And apparently it's falling around our hair, t hair head too. What we can do, though, is spin jump and get rid of it using our trusty old... Wait, get, get, okay. This is kind of tricky sometimes. We can use it like that. By, whoa, getting, burning our butt. By taking the water and splashing it all over the place. Ha, you missed, you jerk. So actually, I think this is good enough. Whoa! Okay, that, okay, let's see. We can do this. Spin jump! Yeah! Shortcut for the win! <laughs> Oh, yeah, that was cool. Yeah, there's a much more complicated way to do this. Um, I don't know. I don't think I've ever done it the way you're supposed to do it. So, I'm not going to even bother trying to explain it. Uh, Mamma mia, my butt is on fire. It hurt. It hurt a lot. Now I have a scar on my butt. Okay, <laughs> I, gosh, I, ho I hope you don't have a scar on your butt. That's That sounds painful. If you have a scar on your butt, like, jeez. Can you imagine sitting down with a scar on your butt? Like, jeez. I already can barely sit down. How would I be able to sit down with a scar on my butt? Like, I always have to stand for some reason. Like, whoa, no, 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 no. Now, hold on. Uh, be right back. Yes! Okay, so only in this mission there is a blue coin for us to get. Besides the other one up there that you can only get in this mission. Yeah, yes, that makes sense. This is the only coin we can get except for the other one we can only get in this shine. No, that one is simple. Just spray it. Um, I think those are the only two, I could be wrong, that are in this, this uh, shine. But for now, let's just go up here and we can... Spray the man in charge, Zimar. Once I can spin jump right. Sorry if you can hear the controller louder than you normally can. I'm trying to record it on a louder setting because the other videos aren't super loud and it's kind of hard to edit when it's... Sometimes you can't hear what I'm talking about. Granted, it's hard to edit when you hate your voice like I do. Like, jeez, I have the most annoying, boring, monotone voice ever. That's the one thing I've really noticed when I got started going back into Let's Playing. I just have such a boring voice, like who would want to listen to me talk for 15 to 25 minutes? Like, jeez. Like, every time I listen to myself talk, I just want to fall asleep. It's like when it's not monotone, it's just boring, or not boring, annoying, like, jeez. That was kind of mean and savage, but whatever, let's just go to episode 4. I actually don't remember what episode 4 is. I- Oh, wait, no, I do know what episode 4 is. Chain Chomp's Bath. This one is an interesting shine. I, I see that for every shine. This one, you have a giant Chain Chomp. An actual normal size Chain Chomp, who's probably the dad of the other Chain Chomps. The mini Chain Chomps. So, yeah, wait. Yep! 
Spray the shine for a blue coin, cause logic. I totally forgot about that one too, but yeah. So, to talk about this one, you want to release him for there, and you have these, um, barrel things. As you can see, he likes to run around. Which we can throw that, it just releases water. But we're just going to follow him and go take him for a walk, because we want to get him to the back of the level. But it's kind of hard to do when you're running into things. In order to get him into this bath over here. Now let's just do our water gun. No, no, come back, come back, come back. No, 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 no. Okay, let's bring him back. Please don't go on fire. Please, that would not be very kind of you. We're almost here. Please just take a bath. No, no, no. Yes, okay. For a second there, I thought he was like about to turn into his lava self, which, yeah, he doesn't stay like that forever. I wish he did. But somehow, somehow, this is what I want to know. I want to know how this works. Somehow, giving a hot Shane Chomp who is on fire into a bath makes him turn gold. Don't know how this works, and I swear there was a blue coin here. Maybe I was wrong. Okay. I was probably wrong. Let's just get our shine sprite and end the level. Mama Shine! Episode 5 Secret of the Village Underside. One of the most notorious shine sprites of Super Mario Sunshine. In fact, one of the most notorious ones of the 3D Mario games. You guys ready? Because this is going to be quite fun. First order of business is... Yoshi. We need Yoshi. We need to get a pineapple. I think it changes every time, actually. I'm not sure if it's the same thing. Um, they are... There's actually a tree here, which we do want. That contains literally every fruit in the game. Got your bananas, your pears, your durians. We want the pineapple, though. Pineapples. Yummy, yum, 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 yum. That was weird. Okay, so let's go collect our Yoshi. Yoshi, so happy. There we go. Now let's jump down here. As you can see, there's a hive later. We'll get that later when we get to take care of the 100... Oh, okay. For a second there, I thought I mistimed it. So, how are you guys doing? It's been so long since I've recorded. It's so great to record. Oh, I'm so happy to record. I really, really needed this. I love recording. I also love missing jumps. That's so fun. Missing jumps. Well, let the deaths begin! So, um, I have an interesting story. Well, not really that interesting because my life's kind of boring. I just, I just want to say this thing and how I don't understand people and, like, I think people's weird. So, um, about, what, two weeks ago? Three weeks ago? Um, I was going to visit one of my friends at his, or not his, her, it's a her. Whoa! Whoa! Wind! Wind! You're knocking the wind out of me! Okay, that was stupid. Um, so I was visiting my friend. I really need to pay attention where I'm jumping. So, I was visiting my friend in this story, and I run into this random person in the elevator, right? Because, you know, elevators are fun. And, like, they look familiar, but I'm not 100% sure who this person is. And they're like, better, thank you. Jeez, I cannot concentrate. Um, they're like, oh, hey, what's... Or they didn't say, hey, what's up? They're like, oh, hey, you're this person's friend. And I was like, uh, yeah. And, um, I had to make a... I had to take, like... Like, I took a random guess, because it was weird. I barely recognized this person. And I was like, oh, hey, you're this person's cousin? And somehow I was right. I don't know how, but... Yeah, they were this random person- or not random person, one of my close friend's cousin. I don't understand how that person recognized me because I've literally barely seen them. And then, like, literally that same day, this one person 
Like, who I knew from high school, you... Oh, that was close. From high school. And I can't say hi to that person. Like, I don't know. I, I hate that situation where it's like, you know someone... Like, you know you know someone, but, like, for whatever reason, there's no, like, connection to say hi. I don't know if I'm explaining it right, but, yeah, it's just so weird sometimes how you die into the pit when some random jerk throws you, just because that's totally rude. Like, seriously. So, like I was saying, trying, well, trying to say before that, dude, rudely threw me into the, you're about to throw me in the pit, aren't you? Oh, no, you're not. Okay, very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's weird how sometimes it's like, you know you know someone, but for whatever reason, there's like, there's not that connection, that like, common bond of... Yeah, like I was trying to say, you better not throw me in the pit, you jerk. It's weird how sometimes... You threw me in the pit, didn't you? You did! Same spot, too! Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Have a nice day. Thanks, man. Anyways... <laughs> Oh, man. Telling a story in Let's Playing is sometimes hard because you gotta focus and, y you know, I'm not exactly the clearest speaker in the world. Um, yeah, it's just weird how sometimes it's like you barely know someone, but I guess you, for whatever reason, know them enough to say hi, but then, like, like, you don't know, I don't know, it just, I, people are weird sometimes. Like, it was just weird because I knew that person, but it was like there was no, like, common connection of goodness and people tree to say hi I don't know it was weird Anyways, back to this level the levels design is literally people throwing each other so let's just kill these guys and let's talk to mr. friend of ours this blue one this is a really blue pianta by the way didn't even know there were blue piantas that's kind of weird we're almost done with level by the way this jump though it's not really a jump but this one is tough because you have to line it perfectly I'm not close enough to you. You better not kill me! You just killed me. Murder her! Oh, he's a murderer! He's out to get me, guys! Oh no! I'm scared. They're all out to get me. Oh boy. At least you're nice and you won't kill me. Thank you, friend. But here's the second murderer. Oh no. Please. Or the first murderer. Please don't. No! Okay, he didn't do it for a third time. Okay. Please, Mr. Orange Guy. Hoyer, hoyer! These guys are weird. Thank you, dude. That one. That one's a weird one where he just throws you higher. Because, like, I swear, I've never seen anyone else die to him. But I've died to him at least ten times playing this game. And yet, like, whenever I watch a Let's Play, it's like, that one's like, oh yeah, this one's the easy one, he doesn't kill you, you know, he's just gonna throw you up, like, I'll, like, lob you up, like, lobbing a football or a baseball or something, and he'll just, he'll land perfectly, and you won't die, but whenever I play this game, it's like, he always kills me at least once. Anyways, once he takes forever, it's the second murderer. We have our eyes on the prize, I think. This one's really tough. Okay, let's... Please. I don't like the angle. I really don't like the angle. Come on, dude. It's not very nice. I just wanted to collect jewels of shininess! Why you gotta be so rude? Why you gotta be so rude? Why you gotta be so rude? Sir! Jeez, uh, my, vo my voice is shot today for some reason. Like, oh man. I probably like just totally destroyed your eardrums which by the way you're welcome no no okay we'll try the small let's we'll try the short one i don't know i rap a little but i never give up oh no yes you don't and you're very nice you didn't kill me appreciate that man come back here wait you know what i'm waiting over here because this is the perfect spot to not die from him and did i do it again i did it again <laughs> I died on one of the easiest ones. <laughs> okay. Jeez. A few. No. Why, Mr. Chuckster? You say you're a Chuckster, but what did I ever do to deserve getting killed? Couldn't you have just been like, okay, let me, let me, um, 
Just, just tell me the angle you want to go. Like, let's just put some controls in it rather than making it freaking random chance. Like, that's all this is. This isn't even... This isn't even, like, a mechanic. This is chance. Like, because some of these angles, sometimes it's like you did it the same thing, but it's like the angle of where you're talking to is different. Oh, like, jeez. They should have put, like... Like in a freaking sports game, how you have like the angle of where you want to shoot the basketball or something. Well, I've never played a basketball sports game, but I don't know. It's it's weird. It's freaking weird, man. At least we're almost to the end again. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm a chuckster. Ha, ha, hearty, freaking ha. I guess if he's a chuckster, Chuck Norris really is this powerful... Thank you, Chuck Norris. See, that's all I had to do to finish the level. I had to say he was Chuck Norris. Uh, I knew there was a secret to this level. This game wasn't telling me. Anyways, that's the end of the episode. We got three shines. That's a good amount of progress. We also got, uh, I believe, two blue coins. I want to say two blue coins. Anyways, next time on Super Mario Sunshine, the even more infamous secret level of this level levels the level whatever oh that one's even harder than that one thank you for watching i have been xenobolt see you next time bye